Hi, and welcome back to Just the Plants, ma'am, where we make plants for the people. Today is Monday, February 4th, and it is weigh-in, wrap-up, evaluation time for week five of Tour de Vigne, which was raw till four. So... We're gonna get started on our little um, list, <laughs> my very messy list of things that I like to cover every week. So we are gonna start with my digestion. How was my digestion on Raw Tell 4? Well, as Freely likes to call them, fluffy fruity floaters are usually the aim when you are eating a very high fiber diet and that's what you get. There's definitely no constipation problems when you're eating massive amounts of fiber and not so much the gluten. I did have like half a pack of udon noodles on what day was that? Saturday? Saturday. Yes, my farewell to cooked food tour on Saturday was the udon noodles, and I didn't even eat all of them. So, and then I had noodles that day at the Moth Cafe, which were amazing. I would definitely get that miso bowl again. So good. So, the digestion and the bowel movements were good. I'm used to digesting a lot of fiber. I've been plant-based for a very long time. Me and fruits and vegetables are very well acquainted with each other. So that's always a good thing. My skin. Well, the good news is, is that usually when I get my period, which I got yesterday, by the way, usually I notice I'm going to get it because I get like a zit on my chin. This is the area that I get the uh, hormonal acne on for that time of the month. Good times. But I didn't get that this month. So that's nice. Good to see. But I mean, I got the lip set. So that was really fun to look at all week for all of us. It was great. It was good times. Um, my eye bags were not greatly improved. I thought maybe with the like super low sodium, low fat, barely any gluten in my life that it would be much more improved, but we will see how a week of all raw does for the bags and then the juicing. We will see what happens. I'm kind of glad they're there. It gives me a little bit of a diagnostic tool to be looking at besides the scale, right? Because life isn't always about the scale. Yeah, says the girl that weighs herself every day <laughs> in the morning without clothes because you can't weigh yourself properly with clothes on, people. Come on. It's not a true weight. Even when I weigh my baby, take off the diaper. They do that at the pediatrician, right? You gotta take off the diaper. You gotta weigh yourself naked because otherwise it's a false number. All right, um, my mood, not so, not so happy. I mean, it could have something to do with the fact that I was getting my period that week and sometimes, you know, the mood goes a little wonky with the hormonal fluctuations, but I didn't really notice that this much this time because, yeah, no real extreme I want to kill anybody moments, which is rare. So that's a good thing. I think the less fat you eat, the like easier your period hits you. It, it's not like as big an event for whatever reason, because our bodies are meant to just run on carbs. Hello. Um, so the mood was fine. The cravings. Did I really have any cravings? Yes. I, I wish I could have put like tahini in my salad dressing. Some fat would have been nice, like just a little. I tried to be really good and not put any fat in anything. I don't think I put fat in one of my dressings at all. 
the most I did was sprinkle on that dill parmesan stuff that had some hemp seeds in it. Whoopity doo da day. That's not a big deal. So, convenience. I mean, fruit is convenient. Smoothies are convenient. Salads are as convenient as you want them to be. You can go and buy a salad from the supermarket that already has cucumbers cut up and the cabbage and the stuff already cut up nice for you for $4 and you don't have to do anything except whip up a low fat dressing that you like. Or you don't even have to do that. You can use a bottled dressing that is low fat from the store too. It doesn't really matter. But um, yeah, it, any diet can be as convenient or as hard as you want to make it. Seriously. Any diet can be as easy, as hard as you want to make it, even with the juicing. I mean, I can go out and buy juices and it's pretty much as if as a comparable price comparable is probably about the same price as me having to make it myself. So if I can go get juice paid for already juiced and I don't have to do any of the uh, in between work and it's basically the same price, I will definitely take that option. Okay. <laughs> I'm not going to like be some kind of crazy, like I got to prove I can do everything myself kind of person. No, 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 no. If I can buy it and it's like as cheap, if not cheaper than me having to like buy all the oranges and make it myself. I think I priced it out one time at like that city market with the orange juice and I was like, Pretty sure that the oranges that I would need to make to make this juice would cost me more than the juice cost me. So, I'm just going to buy it. <laughs> um, yeah, but convenience on this diet, like I said, it's as easy as you hard as you want to make it. It's not that hard to cook up a batch of rice and throw some steamed veggies on it. If you want to get all fancy making your own sauces and making soups and dishes and whatever, then it can be hard. But you can just have a smoothie two times a day and then eat a big bowl of rice with some lettuce on the side and some cucumber and some sweet chili sauce and you're good to go. So convenience is what we make of it, right? Right. Okay, so let's get on with the show. My waist measurement didn't change. It's still 39. Not surprising because my weight, <laughs> we went from 190.4 last week to 191.2. I gained 0 0.8 pounds. Now, I don't know if that's actual weight gain because I've been weighing myself, like I said, every day <laughs> throughout this process. And I mean, I didn't really lose much at all, ever. I think the lowest I was down to one day might have been 189 point something. So... It wasn't no miracle for the weight loss, that's for sure. But yeah, I gained 0.8 pounds, but I also got my period yesterday. So like I said, I'm not really too worried about that. <laughs> and like I said, I don't really care either way anyways, because I can play around in this 190 zone all day, every day. It doesn't bother me. When you're used to being a large woman your entire life, being this size now is like, whatever, I can deal with it. Yeah, <clears throat> gaining 0.8 pounds is no big deal. I'm okay with that. It's whatever. It was a fun experiment. Do I think that you should not eat intuitively and eat, try and eat as many calories as possible because that's what somebody said on the internet that you should do? I don't know. I'm not a big fan of smashing in calories when you don't really feel that you need them. There's a different story. If you're like starving and you really want to eat whatever, please go ahead. 
eat intuitively. If you're starving and you're hungry, then eat. But I don't like this eat at certain times of the day. Don't eat this after you eat that. I don't like that kind of structure. <laughs> I want to be able to eat what I want to eat as long as it's in the plant-based realm whenever I feel like it. Is that too much to ask? I don't think so. I think we should all live in a world where eating when you're hungry and stopping when you're full and eating what you want within reason. Like we can't just live on chocolate cake. Although I still want that McDougal everyday chocolate cake. Would I recommend the raw tell four diet? Sure. If you enjoy eating fruit in the morning and eating low fat cooked vegan food at night, if that's your jam, if those are like the kind of foods that make your life so excited, you're just like, yeah, I can't wait to have baked potatoes with chili sauce every night of my life then go for it. It's not my jam. I'd rather be a lot of different kind of vegans before I'm this kind. <laughs> Just not, not my thing. I'd rather eat smaller amounts and not be told I need to bike up the doy every, every morning or whatever that hill is in Thailand. Doi, right? Yeah, I think I remember that properly. But anyways, I, I, I've I got three boys upstairs that I need to take care of every day. I'm not biking all over the universe. Okay, so there's that. Might not be a realistic lifestyle for a lot of people. I think eating intuitively when you're hungry Makes a lot of sense. All right. That's it. That's everything. I have nothing else to say about this diet, you guys. I'm done. I'm happy it's over. I'm happy to be moving on to my all raw weeks where I'm just going to live my happy little raw life and not worry about trying to cook foods with very limited amounts of sodium when they don't taste good like that. I'm sorry, but I like salt on my potatoes. And I could put salt on my potatoes back in McDougal land. And I still lost weight, so what does that tell you? It tells you you can pack in a lot of calories in a smoothie with all those dates like I did this week. And it's too many calories. When you eat too many calories, you're not going to lose weight, even if it's low fat. I'm sorry, it's not going to happen. Not for me. It might for some people, but those people are people that were never obese a day in their life. Or if they were obese, they were the kind of obese person who wasn't obese because their metabolism was effed up. They were obese because they were overeating or they had like a binging problem and they ate like 10,000 calories a day. So going down to like 3,000 calories a day would be amazing for them. But when you're a person like me, this way isn't going to work. So you have to figure out what kind of person you are. You got to know your body. And I knew that uh, this week was probably not going to work for me because when you eat too many calories, you're not going to lose weight. Period. End of story. That's all I have to say about that. It's never going to happen. I never knew why McDougal was so hard on the smoothies before, <clears throat> but now, now I know. I know why McDougal doesn't like the smoothies because you can drink a giant smoothie and then be hungry two hours later. When you drank a thousand calories of smoothie, you can't eat a thousand calories of potatoes and be hungry two hours later. It doesn't happen. So, um, yeah. That's why I lost weight on the McDougal weeks. Because it was definitely lower calorie. The man's smart. He's been doing this for a long time. He's a smart dude.
All right. I hope you pretty plant people have a glorious day and you guys join me for our next video which is going to be my first what I eat in a day as a rule free raw vegan. I'm excited. I'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks for listening to all of this.